Hey everyone, welcome to my video channel. Today we are going to define elastomeric bearing pad inside of CSP. Well, literally we use link elements property for bearing modeling. Actually, to achieve this goal, we must first determine the link stiffness for each direction. First, we check out the vertical stiffness. The vertical stiffness KV is equal elastomer modulus in compression EC times A divided H. EC is equal 4.8 times G times shape factor square. According to LRFD, we have two equations in terms of bearing shape. First equation according the rectangular bearing and second one on basis circular bearing. The another stiffness we have to apply to link element is horizontal stiffness. KH is equal shear modulus times A over HRT. As you see in this picture shows that the parameter included in bearing. After we realize how to determine link stiffness for each direction, let's go to the software. All right, I already prepared a model. First, we need to define the link stiffness. So select the component, section property, link support property, with the add new property in this panel we select the linear type here we insert the name of the link for example bearing here we modify the value of link stiffness for example u1 introduced as a vertical stiffness u2 and u3 uh, introduced as a horizontal stiffness so we check these boxes and hit the modify show in this panel we insert the value of vertical stiffness and these ones are devoted the horizontal stiffness so the another job we need to do is draw a link so hit ok so select the draw and one joint link and we select the bearing we defined in previous part so we draw the link at the end of the column that's great i would try to prepare a numerical example to better understand you can find it in link description Alright, I hope you like this tutorial, I'll see you in the next video.